South Africa's selection as the host country for the 2010 World Cup is being probed. In the United States, the Justice Department is alleging that former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner solicited 10 million US dollars in bribes from the South African government to host the games. It comes as football has been rocked to the core by two wide-ranging corruption investigations currently underway. It's cl uh, claimed around $100 million could have exchanged hands in bribe payments. 14 people, including high-ranking FIFA officials, have been indicted by United States authorities in a case spanning two decades. Hours after the arrest, Swiss authorities launched a probe into the allocation of the 2018 and 2022 World Cups, those ones coming up. It's also been revealed in documents that South Africa's selection as the host for 2010 being probed. The investigations come a day before the 65th FIFA Congress on Friday in Zurich. Seven FIFA officials, including two FIFA vice presidents, were arrested in a dawn raid at a five-star hotel in Zurich. All in all, 14 people, nine FIFA officials and five corporate executives have been indicted on money laundering, racketeering and wire fraud charges. This all stems from U.S. Department of Justice investigations into corruption in CONCACAF, FIFA's North and Central America and Caribbean Regional Authority. While that was all going on, the Swiss authorities, through the Office of the Auditor General, announced their own investigation into the awarding of the 2018 and 2022 World Cups in Russia and Qatar, respectively. Amongst those being questioned is CAF President Issa Hayatu. It all comes a day before the FIFA Congress on Thursday, where FIFA President Sepp Blatter, who has not been charged with anything, is expected to win a fifth term in office. Both the Congress and election are expected to go ahead, according to the world footballing body. FIFA, FIFA welcomes this investigation. It is fully cooperative with Swiss federal authorities and the Justice Department. However, FIFA was quick to stress that Blatter is taking strain. He's not, he's not dancing in his office, uh, uh, this kind of uh, 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 relax man. He's just uh, he's very, very, very calm. He sees what, uh, what happens. He's fully uh, cooperative with, uh, with um, everybody. And, uh, and that's what I meant, you know. He's not a kind of a, of a happy man today uh, and say, wow, wow, that's, that's really cool what happens here. But he knows. He knows this is the consequences of what we initiated. Part of the U.S. investigation involves bribes and kickbacks in CONCACAF's role in selecting South Africa as the 2010 FIFA World Cup host country. We didn't have to pay money in South Africa for the World Cup. Uh, we had Mandela, we had Ditlak, we had uh, to do all the Nobel Prize winners. We threw in also President Thabo Mbeki, so we had three presidents just to make sure that we win the bid. We didn't require any money. I hope nobody will be found wanting in South Africa. The World Cups in Russia and Qatar are expected to go ahead, but the question marks raised and investigations that stretch back two generations of football administrators mean these are not just some unconnected scandals that can easily be swept under the carpet. Simon Burke, SABC News.